Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day. Today, we are going to continue our lessons on science process skills. So, let's move to our next slide. In this lesson, we learn about defining operationally. What is defining operationally? It is a skill that defining a concept by describing what must be done and observed. In your textbook, it had been explained like this. Defining operationally is a skill to define a concept by stating what can be carried out and observed. What can be carried out is referring to what is investigated and what is observed is referring to what are you observed and also what can you measure in the investigation. Okay, this is uh, from your textbook. Look at the situations. This student asked the teacher how to define the ability of a material to absorb water. So the question is, how do we define the ability of a material to absorb water? This student soaked three different thickness of tissue paper in 50 ml of water. What does the teacher say? Look at the water in the beaker. What can you measure? We can measure the volume of water left in the beaker. Look at this yellow color. This representing the thing that we can we, we are going to investigate. We investigate the ability of a material to absorb water. And the purple color is representing the thing that can be observed or measured. So, look at these people. He measuring the volume of water left in the beaker. I can measure the volume of the water left in the beaker. The teacher said, therefore, the operational definitions of the ability of material to absorb water is the volume of water left in the beaker. So, how can we define the ability of a material to absorb water? This is the statement. Ability of a material to absorb water can be defined operationally as the volume of water left in the beaker. Look at the color code here. The yellow color is referring to the thing that we investigate. We investigate the ability of a material to absorb water. While the purple color code is referring to thing that we measure or we observe. We measure the volume of water left in the beaker. So, the uh, least water left in the beaker is material that has high ability to absorb water. While the beaker with the highest volume water left is the material that has lowest ability to absorb water. Look at this situation. Okay. Plant a tree, give enough water and put an open space to get enough sunlight. Look at this observation. Week 1, week 2, week 3. First, we have to identify what we investigate. Okay. We investigate the growth of a plant. So, how do we define the growth of a plant? Secondly, we must identify what can we observe. We observe the number of the leaves. You already identify what you investigate and what you observe. 
So let's make the defin uh, definition uh, operational definition of growth of a plant. So the statement is growth of a plant can be defined operationally as the number of the leaves. Just look at the color code. Yellow color is from the thing that we investigate. While the purple color is from the thing that we measure. Look at this situation. Do you, can you remember this lesson? You learned this while you were in year 1. So look at this magnet. There are three different magnets. Bring different types of magnet closer to a number of paper clips. Actually, what do you investigate? Yes, you are investigating the strength of a magnet. So, the question actually is, how do we define the strength of the magnet? What you observe? You observe the number of paper clip that attracted by magnet you observe the numbers of paper clip that attracted to a magnet so can you define operationally the strength of magnet strength of magnet can be defined operationally as the number of paper clips that attract attracted to magnet That's all for today. I hope you, you can understand my explanation and do your activity as per attached in Google Classroom. Bye. See you again. Bye. Take care.